much for watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. I was praying about our time together and, and I felt like God dropped a verse in my heart just to encourage you. And it's in Jeremiah 30, verse 17. And the first part of the verse says, I will restore you to health. I will heal you of your wounds, declares the Lord. And I believe that every person watching, you have some health issues, be that health in your finances, be that health in your emotions, health in your body. And God is saying to you today that he wants to heal you and restore health to you. Why don't you call right now or get on the website and let us pray for you. We love to pray and see God do amazing things in your life. So hop on the phone, get on the website and know that God has healing for you, not just healing of, of physical issues, healing all throughout your body, as well as health. And you know, mom, when we think about health, health is a state of being. Yes, it is. Isn't and it affects everything, spirit, yeah. soul, body. And really, Sarah, Jehovah Rapha, we say, well, that's the Lord who heals, but it is the Lord our health. Right. And Moses yeah. believed it, lived to 120, his eye was not yep. damned, his natural force not abated. So he got the revelation. Yeah. But we have a special guest. We do. That really helps Yay. us with the revelation of health. Thanks. Janet, Dr. it's so McCarl. nice. It's so to good to be you. back. Yay. It's so good. Thank you good for being with you. us. Yes. And you have shared some things. Now, through the years, from your own lifestyle. You've got that right, sure. And what I've learned is your biography can become your biology. It's very important to remember. Mean? Biography. So our lives and how we live them wow. okay, can ultimately become our biology, how well we are and how sick we get. Right. Okay, so with that in mind, I wrote the book, a woman's body balanced by nature. Wow. And it was birthed out of all the things that I struggled with for many, many years in my health. Yeah. Rheumatic fever and Epstein-Barr virus and all those things. But stress was a big component. And basically what it is, is a body out of balance. Mm -hmm. So my belief is if we, if we as women can balance our bodies, body, mind, and spirit, we literally can balance all the women that came before us. We can heal their lives as well as all of our women that come after us, our mm -hmm. legacy, our, our daughters, we can balance their lives mm -hmm. if we get ourselves balanced. Yeah. What better gift can we give our children yeah. and the women that came before us than a good balanced you? Right. So right. that's what it's all about. So there are things that I want you to remember that when a woman takes, we're caregivers and we like to take care of. Now, when we participate in our own wellness, we get better quicker. So we like to be the ones that know what to do for the whole family. Now we need to know what to do for ourselves. So I give us a, a survey, so to speak, in every chapter on where you may have some imbalances. Mm -hmm. But first we talk about the body. And so we know that we can support the body with excellent nutrition. If it doesn't rot or sprout, you do without. And then we doesn't go- Doesn't rot or sprout, sprout, you do without. So when you say sprout, how do I know something sprouting? Well, okay, the, the things that grow in the ground sprout right. before they become plants and fruits and vegetables, all the things that we need. Ah. Okay. So like a can of tomatoes will not rot. So we should probably do without if it doesn't rot or sprout. Huh. No, wait a minute. If it doesn't, <laughs> but say, if it doesn't sprout, no, rot or sprout, do without. Yeah. So if it doesn't rot or sprout. so. In right. other words, a Twinkie, right. okay, right. anything like that with the chemicals and the preservatives and right. all that. So go as fresh as you fresh can. Fresh as you can, yeah. like the original garden. We yeah. want to go back to that. Right. Okay, right. that's what we want to do. All right, then next we want to know, we want to take specific supplements to fill in nutritional gaps. Right. Because there are gaps these days because everything is overly processed and refined. Right. So while we eat whole foods, that sprout, okay? Right. Then we want to go ahead and figure out what supplements we need to take. We don't want to overload our systems mm -hmm. because you can do that too because our livers need to break down and process all that. But by taking these surveys that I have in every chapter, you'll know, do you need to take enzymes? Do you need to take flax oil? Do you, what do you need to take? Right. Where are your little check marks? Where do you need to balance? Right. Then we go to balance the mind, okay? Forgive, you know? Right. Think good thoughts, you know, release a lot of things. What you bury deep inside can bury you. Mm -hmm. 
That's Absolute number two. True. Absolutely. That's a big thing to know. There's and a pretty significant link, isn't there, between like unforgiveness and you better believe cancer. It. I mean, all kinds of diseases. Everything, arthritis, all the different degener degenerative diseases have a unforgiveness as a link or wow. as or a rigidity. You know, you don't want to just. You're stubborn. You don't want to. No change. You know, no flexibility. No flexibility. And I wow. say, if you're deeply rooted in God, you can bend. Sure. You know. Sure. Then the spirit. Now I say, you know, we are spiritual beings having an earthly experience mm -hmm. right now. Our life on earth is short. Mm -hmm. So we, from spirit we come, from spirit we go back. Mm -hmm. So we need to, while we're here, nurture that spirit mm -hmm. and develop a closer mm -hmm. and deeper relationship with God. Mm -hmm. You right. know, and with those three, three things in balance, then you have a chance of balancing your life. Hmm. So body with the foods and nutrition, mind, work on the mind, take every thought captive, mm -hmm positive and forgive mm -hmm. so you can live. Mm -hmm. And then the spirit, make that walk mm -hmm. closer with God every single day. Mm -hmm. And you have a really good chance wow. of being balanced and passing that, and be an example to your daughters. Sure, sure. You know, and, and to their daughters after that. Sure. So. You know, you may be watching right now and, and maybe you have some areas in your life that are imbalanced. Maybe Dr. Janet just talked about your body and you think, oh, my body's falling apart. Mm -hmm. Maybe your mom, maybe you're watching right now and your mom is really struggling maybe on some forgiveness issues. Mm -hmm. I know that's a, that's a really big hurdle for, for many of us to get over or spiritually. You just don't have a close walk with Jesus. Why don't you get on the phone, call right now. Get on the website and let us pray for you and pick out one of those particular areas, whether it's for you or for somebody else in your life. But we want to pray for you because God has answers. He has wisdom. He has solutions. You know what he told me the other day? Yes. And I love this. He said, Sarah, I have more answers than you have questions. That's and I was like, wow, I could come up with a lot of questions. <laughs> and then he said to me, I have more solutions then you have problems. That's right. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. So it the is. closer I get to him, mm -hmm. the, the more that starts to take root and show in my life. So I just get excited about right. that. Right. So true. Now getting back to balance though, <laughs> yep. when a woman's balanced, she's joyful, she's healthy, mm -hmm. she's inspiring, she can motivate others. She's a, a treasure to behold. When we lose our balance, mm -hmm. we become anxious, depressed, mm -hmm. hopeless, and that's infectious. People all around us just, we set the tone, you know, for just mm -hmm. everyone around us. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, our health starts to decline. Our immune systems, it's been studied, immune systems drop. Hmm. We get degenerative diseases. So again, a balanced woman is a healthy woman. Mm -hmm. So there are 10 basic areas that you want to balance. So we, again, we talked about nutrition mm -hmm. and the supplements to fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. We want to focus on sleep, which is so restorative. And so many women aren't sleeping. Now, talk me through that a little bit. Because, Mom, remember Ann Ethel? Yeah. And she never slept. She, like four hours or something? That's crazy. Well, but some people, and I think you would agree, mm -hmm. don't require as much sleep. That's and true. Sometimes I'm embarrassed <laughs> mm -hmm. how much sleep. If I seem mm -hmm. to require right. well, that's all my all right. life. Well, you're, you've done very well, so we're sure. just not going to knock that right now. You know? <laughs> right. But the thing is, is that sleep is so important because that's when our body recovers and recuperates and regenerates. Mm -hmm. And so for people listening, I'm going to give them a sleep cocktail right now. Good. I'm going to give you the recipe. Really? Okay? Mm -hmm. We'd like that. So here's what it is. And people say this works, and it's, it's certainly in the outlined in the book too, but it's one half cup of grape juice, mm -hmm. all right, and one half cup of water, mm -hmm. okay, and it is 10 drops of passion flower extract, mm -hmm. okay, in the, in the juice, and then you're going to do magnesium chloride, two capsules of it, 400 milligrams, hmm. and that will help relax the body, and possibly, now if that doesn't take you into sleep, then you're going to add a little valerian root extract and you put it in there 30 minutes before you go to bed. Hmm. And so many people swear by this little sleep wow. cocktail and they love it. So sleep is very important. Totally. Janet, mm -hmm. I think you need to say that again because some of you are watching and you're thinking, I didn't write it down fast mm -hmm. enough. But you yes. know, I think it's key. And maybe you feel you have a sleep disorder mm -hmm. or you have children or loved ones. Do let us pray with you over that because prayer helps also. So. We're here also to help you spiritually. We're here to help you with mm -hmm. knowing the right things to do. Mm -hmm. So please call us. Remember, we don't counsel. 
but we love to pray. Yes. So go through that one okay. more time. So again, 30 minutes before you go to bed, there'll be, okay, a half cup of grape juice, a half cup of water, 10 drops of passion flower extract, two capsules of magnesium chloride, and possibly about five drops of valerian root. And if, you, if that doesn't do the trick for you, but 30 minutes before you go to bed, no stimulants at dinner, no caffeine, no coffees, <laughs> things like that. Drink decaf, mm. and, um, and then you'll see that you will, this will make you sleep. It's a great alternative to all the sleep medications out there, and it just helps so many people. Where do you get the, like, the magnesium? Everything's at health food stores. Okay. very easily found. Great. All the health food stores across America. Nice. Um, so, so that's important. So you've got to get that sleep, and these are very basic things. Sure. But then, okay, now stress. Huge, mm -hmm. huge, 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 especially women as we hit midlife and all the hormonal changes mm -hmm. begin to happen. You've got to harmonize your hormones. Mm -hmm. And so I always tell women, please go and have a hormonal panel run at your doctor. Have an estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, thyroid, which we'll get into later, how important that thyroid is. Mm. And I really hope to help thousands of women today with thyroid because it's undiagnosed as there's an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis mm -hmm. that doctors are missing that we need to talk about. Mm -hmm. So, And we're going to stop here for just a moment, yep. isn't that right? Right. And then you have to stay there because thyroid is a big, big mm -hmm. deal Huge. with all of us, all, everybody. So stay there because I'm telling you, the best part is to come. You say, well, I'm already really informed, mm -hmm. but you're not informed enough. Right. And it'd be good if you could just grab a piece of paper, maybe write down some of these things that are key for you. And it would be good for you if you say, well, I'm just a chronic, I can't get well. Call us for prayer. Jesus heals chronics mm -hmm. and he heals you. So this is a very special program that you are watching today that will penetrate your heart, your mind, and even your spirit. In such difficult times, it can be easy to let your health fall behind. Everyday stress takes a toll on your physical and mental well-being. Make your health a priority again with Dr. Janet Macaro's Manual to Maintaining a Healthy Body, a woman's body balanced by nature. In her incredible book, Dr. Macaro offers women 10 incredible elements to beginning your healthy, balanced lifestyle. Her troubleshooting guideline will help you begin your life free of anxiety, depression, worry, and illness. Yours for a gift of $35. You will read about Dr. Macaro's interactive tips for relationship issues, weight control, beauty, hormonal health, and much more. We will also send you Marilyn's Enjoy Life Journal and Healing Scripture Card to complement Dr. Macaro's guideline to healthy living. Your health is important to everyone around you, and God wants a healthy and happy life for you. Take advantage of this amazing offer and begin your journey to a healthy and balanced life. Yours for a gift of $35 or more. Call or click to receive this very special offer. so excited to have Janet, Dr. Janet Macaro with us. And, you know, we talked just, just a second ago about yes. thyroid. Yes. And uh, truthfully, I am completely clueless on thyroid. I know it's some kind of, what is it, a gland it's or something gland like that? It's a gland located right about here in your neck. And there is an epidemic of thyroid disease, especially hmm. in women right. around, the, around the world, actually. But in this country, there's a lot more than, than there should be. And so we're going to discuss that because... I feel really led to talk about it. Now, yep. there are so many things that are contained 
in this book. It's a whole sure. women's health protocol, yep. but there's something that God's putting on my heart that I have to tell you about yep. thyroid. All right, the thyroid gland controls all of our metabolism. I mean, our brains are dependent upon healthy thyroid function. Mm -hmm. Every other gland in our body is dependent upon thyroid function, health, being healthy. Now, when a lot of us go to the doctor, they will do a test called TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone test. And a lot of times they'll come back with the results and say, you're fine. But you go to the doctor and you'll say, doc, I'm feeling tired. I'm achy all over. I've gained weight. I'm foggy. I can't think. You know, I, my skin's changing. Hmm. I'm retaining some fluid. Hmm. And it's a progressive thing. And they go, well, and a lot of them now, this is not to put doctors down at all. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, there are so many women I'm working with mm -hmm. and I have one daughter that has this condition, so it's very close to my heart. Let me tell you what happens if you don't get this treated or diagnosed properly, it can really be serious as it progresses because it can lead to congestive heart failure, hmm. dementia, all the things down the line that you don't want to have happen. Hmm. Now, TSH alone is not enough to determine. Now, if, if TSH comes back high, that's simple hypothyroidism and they'll give you a synthroid medication, you know, which is T4, which will help your body, you know, utilize thyroid hormones better and act, work better. But there's something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune disease. It means your body is attacking your thyroid gland. Hmm. Now, if they don't screen for that specifically, you'll never know you have it. And many, many cases, a high percentage of thyroid disease is Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And women can go for 10 or 20 years without knowing they have this disease. Wow. It can actually, it can just make people housebound. Hmm. It can make you not want to get off the couch. It can cause depression, hmm. anxiety, panic attacks, so many different things. It's so important for women listening to know if you're feeling any of these things, and if you have any autoimmune disease in your family. What's an autoimmune disease? That's when your immune system turns on itself. Right. It, it, rec it, it takes a look. Your immune system recognizes your body as an, as an invader hmm. and starts to launch an attack against things like your, if your pancreas, it's diabetes. Hmm. You know, if it's your thyroid, it's Hashimoto's. If it's your joints, it's rheumatoid arthritis. Hmm. If it's your skin, it is um, scleroderma which is very serious. If it's the brain, it's MS. So the body starts to turn on itself. Now, why? Well, in my research, I found out that many people that have autoimmune disease have a gluten sensitivity. Hmm. You see now, my goodness, gluten. You hear, yeah. don't right. eat gluten. You hear it all over. Well, right. why is this? Why all of a sudden? And mm -hmm. why the high incidence of autoimmune disease? What's going on? Well, it's because all the wheat has been refined so much and all the minerals stripped out and mm -hmm. put back in that we can't really break, you know, digest things the way we could before. And it becomes an irritant more than a nourisher to our systems. Hmm. And we develop something called inflammation and leaky gut. Hmm. And when you get leaky gut syndrome, it means there's actually little microscopic holes in your lining of your intestines. And when you eat your foods, especially gluten, gluten it becomes like a Glue, I say glue is like, gluten is like mm -hmm. glue, and it gums up the works, and it actually irritates, makes it raw and inflamed. Hmm. And more, these holes become bigger and bigger when you eat food. It goes actually through the, through the holes into your bloodstream, causing your immune system to go, wait a minute, we have an invader here, mm -hmm. let's attack. So you have this attack launched against hmm. your, your body, and you have all these women with achy joints and headaches and foggy thinking, and just their metabolism goes haywire, mm. and they're just very unwell. And it progresses if you don't get it under control. So, women listening, when you go to the doctor for your thyroid, they, they go, please check my thyroid. Oh, I did that, and you're fine. Mm -hmm. Say, look for my antibodies, doc. Please run mm -hmm. thyroid antibodies, because mm -hmm. antibodies show up in your blood when your immune system is on overdrive. Hmm. Okay. Sarah, I'd like to break in here just for a moment. Sure. I feel like some people are watching and kind of panicky about mm -hmm. this. And, you know, you're getting really knowledge and mm -hmm. wisdom of how to handle it. Mm -hmm. But you need the Lord to touch you in yes. a special way. So please, feel free to call in. As I said, 
we don't counsel, but we just love to pray. We love to pray for thyroid problems mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And any of your loved ones, just know prayer is powerful. Yes. Sorry, Janet, oh, go no, on, please. Oh, no, absolutely true. Mm -hmm. And also prayer for, for the doctors to find absolutely. what's going on. Because wisdom. Right. I'm telling you, it runs in families. It's hereditary. Mm -hmm. If there's autoimmune disease in your family, chances are it may be passed down. Mm -hmm. So if you have a child that has a lot of infections and has been on a lot of antibiotics, they're just not thriving like they should. You see, mm -hmm. Mom, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Mom, and I can't concentrate. Get the thyroid checked. It's very, very important. Mm -hmm. And look for those antibodies. Mm. Okay, So that's something that I feel really strongly about. Sure. And if some child is, especially now around puberty, when a young girl hits puberty, mm -hmm. a lot of times that's when you'll, it'll show its head. Hmm. It'll become you know, it'll manifest that. Wow. And they'll say, oh, your daughter's just hitting puberty, and well, that's a woman thing, and she's, but their cycles become irregular right. and heavy, and it's trace it to that thyroid. Hmm. So that that's interesting. so interesting And do you to talk me. about that in your book It's here. all in the book. It's a woman's all in body the balanced by nature. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, Sarah, yes. People have children right now, mm -hmm. teenage children, mm -hmm. yes. that we need to pray about. And see, I'm thinking about Isabel. Mm -hmm. You know, she's going to be 11 and mm -hmm. entering in. Mm -hmm. And these are things I'm going to pray specifically about. Sure. Yes. You want us to pray specifically for grandchildren or maybe your children entering into mm -hmm. this stage, this time of life? Pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have the best prayer line in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And we want to pray for you. Mm -hmm. And they can get on the web, too. Oh, Leave yes. Leave a prayer request on the website because right. some people don't want to mess with the phone. Right. That's a great way on the web. If you have a smartphone, it's a perfect way to leave mm -hmm. a prayer request. Excellent. But, you know, we talk about thyroid. Yes. And, uh, and I know in our next program we're going to talk and kind of delve into some of these things yes, that we, we see are. here, which will be really powerful. But there are some other issues, women's issues. Thyroid is a really big women's issue. Yes. Um, what are some ways we can remedy some of those thyroid challenges? Well, first of all, from the cradle to the grave, <clears throat> we have to deal with our hormones as women, mm -hmm. more so than men. Men need, men need to deal with testosterone levels, but we have such a, com we're so complicated, mm -hmm. and our hormones work in symphony, mm -hmm. you know, and one of those instruments aren't playing in tune with the rest, mm -hmm. well, the whole orchestra suffers. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the way this is. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is be... I, I, I have a folder at home, and I go every year, and I have a test done, and I get all my levels monitored. I believe every woman should do that, have a self-care manual. Mm -hmm. You put all your tests there, and you look for, for trends. Look for, along with your doctor, you'll be a much better patient, mm -hmm. you know, much better, well-informed Doctors like informed patients mm -hmm. because you want to be a team with your doctor. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we have the great physician, mm -hmm. and right. then we work with our earthly physician right. here. And you totally. say, Doc, last year I was here. Look here, because they're so busy now. Mm -hmm. They have 15 minutes to give you a lot of them, mm -hmm. and that's all they've got. And say, mm -hmm. Doc, here's what I write your questions down and say, Last year here I was with my thyroid. The numbers are itching, inching up. Let's check those antibodies. Mm -hmm. Let's check my estrogen, my mm -hmm. testosterone, my mm -hmm. progesterone, mm -hmm. my DHEA. Mm -hmm. Let's check my adrenal hormones, which we're going to get into in a little mm -hmm. while. Adrenal health is so crucial. Mm -hmm. And that has a lot to do with your thyroid as mm -hmm. well. Another reason why we're seeing a lot of autoimmune disease. Now, listen to this. Now, right here. Now, there's a couple of things I've heard about this that are very interesting. This is where we spray all of our perfumes. Mm -hmm. We apply a lot of oh, lotions yes. and makeups. Mm -hmm. And it's chemical, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of autoimmune disease, they say, mm -hmm. can be chemically induced. So you put it all together, mm -hmm. and here we go. Wow. There's just a recipe for autoimmunity. Wow. Is this good? Well, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, I know I'm receiving. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I never do that and give the doctor all those things and sure. keep that. And you need to call us. And I think sometimes these are generation weaknesses that come mm -hmm. down. And those can also be broken through yes. prayer mm -hmm. because Jesus redeemed us from the curse. If you feel those are things that are being passed down to you, call us for prayer. Mm -hmm. That's very, very important. We love to pray with you. And <laughs> hang in with us because I'm telling you, we've got more to come. You've got to keep watching our program. 
such difficult times, it can be easy to let your health fall behind. Everyday stress takes a toll on your physical and mental well-being. Make your health a priority again with Dr. Janet Macaro's Manual to Maintaining a Healthy Body, a woman's body balanced by nature. In her incredible book, Dr. Macaro offers women 10 incredible elements to beginning your healthy, balanced lifestyle. Her troubleshooting guideline will help you begin your life free of anxiety, depression, worry, and illness. Yours for a gift of $35. You will read about Dr. Macaro's interactive tips for relationship issues, weight control, beauty, hormonal health, and much more. We will also send you Marilyn's Enjoy Life Journal and Healing Scripture Card to complement Dr. Macaro's guideline to healthy living. Your health is important to everyone around you, and God wants a healthy and happy life for you. Take advantage of this amazing offer and begin your journey to a healthy and balanced life. Yours for a gift of $35 or more. Call or click to receive this very special offer. Bible says healing is the bread of the children. So today, I want you to eat some bread, bread of healing. Where do you need healing in your body? Let's believe God for that because it really is our bread. It was purchased in the atonement. So we need to claim what the Bible says we can have. So I'm going to ask you to put your hand on any area of your body that you need healing. I, need, I love to pray for the sick. So put your hand, it's on your, you say, I have 10 things. Put your hand on top of your head. We'll just believe for everything. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I send the word into this body that heals it, delivers it from every destruction. And in Jesus' name, I speak wholeness. Amen. Now, I believe you've received, but you need to act in faith. Don't look for your sickness. Look for your miracle and stand in faith for it. This is very important. Now, this is the way I stand. I not only stand for healing, but health. Because when I look at Jehovah Rapha, it has to do with health. And Moses received the revelation of that name, and he lived to 120. His eye didn't get dim. His natural force was not abated. Why? Because he knew that there was healing and health for him and he lived in it. So why don't you just call in right now and say, hey, I am believing for healing in my body. Name the place. Don't take a long time and say, I am believing for health. And maybe you have a loved one on your heart who needs healing or who needs health. Then give us those names and we're going to pray and just say, Marilyn told me to call in today for healing and health. And we're going to stand in faith and see great miracles. Thank you for watching Sarah and me on YouTube. We're so glad. Oh my goodness, we're elated to get to hang out with you. Make sure you click here to subscribe today.